The question we have all been asking for years and years now is finally answered and we got the answer that we wanted because the Marvel Netflix shows are now officially canon to the MCU. On Disney Plus, each of these shows have been added to the official MCU timeline order and if you watched the recent Echo Disney Plus series, not only in trailer footage did they do some recap stuff with Kingpin, but also in the series itself, I won't spoil it here if you haven't seen it yet, but there is one very direct connection to Daredevil, uh, which is insanely awesome. So the Marvel Netflix shows are now officially canon to the MCU. And, you know, it's obviously, like I said, that's a question we've been asking for years. Is it canon? Is it partially canon? Like, are they just going to, like, bring in the same actors and some some things happened and some things are just similar to what happened in the Netflix shows. Like, we know Charlie Cox is back as Daredevil, Vincent D'Onofrio is back as Kingpin, John Bernthal is coming back as Punisher in Daredevil Born Again. Rumors and reports are saying that uh, Kristen Ritter is back as Jessica Jones. Uh, but really, the other two that uh, are very much up in the air and, you know, in question... Mike Coulter as Luke Cage and Finn Jones as Iron Fist. Now, Mike Coulter, we'll just talk about real quick, uh, just because everybody loved him as Luke Cage. I did as well. I think he was a fantastic Luke Cage, amazing actor. So I would love to see him come back in the MCU as Luke Cage. And uh, there's just been nothing said about that. Uh, he was asked in an interview recently that, uh, like, if he would want to return. And he basically said that he's he's ready to move on. Like, he's not holding out hope for it. But I would love for Mike Coulter to come back. But here in this video, we are talking mainly about Finn Jones and Iron Fist. Because the Iron Fist is a great character. Iron Fist used to be my favorite Marvel superhero. I remember growing up, I watched Ultimate Spider-Man on Disney XD, and Iron Fist became my favorite Marvel superhero because of that show. I just fell in love with the character and the mythos of the character, and so I was so excited to see the Iron Fist Netflix series. And then I did, and um, well, I mean, we, we, we all know how that went. It, it didn't go great. I mean, personally, I like it more than others do. So I don't absolutely hate the show, but I definitely don't love it. It's not the greatest. And so I would love to see more Iron Fist in the MCU. But obviously, you can see why Marvel Studios is more uh, focused on bringing in Daredevil, Kingpin, and Punisher rather than Iron Fist. But there are some new reports and rumors going around that we are going to see Iron Fist in the MCU much sooner than we expected, possibly even this year. Because this year, very recently actually, it was announced that we are getting a brand new MCU animated series called Marvel Studios Eyes of Wakanda and it's going to explore past rulers of Wakanda, past Black Panthers, uh, I think like Every episode is going to be a different Black Panther, a different ruler of Wakanda. So I think that's going to be really cool, um, a really interesting idea that I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, which again, coming out at some point this year, we don't know exactly when, but it is coming in 2024. And there are reports going around. I don't remember the exact scooper it came from, uh, but it is coming from a pretty reliable source. I think it was maybe Daniel RPK. Daniel RPK, fantastic source, pretty much like I'd say 90 to 95 percent correct most of the time, uh, has said that Iron Fist will appear in the series. Now, it's been said, to be more specific, that it's going to be a female Iron Fist. So it's not going to be Danny Rand. It's not going to be an animated Finn Jones running around as Iron Fist in the MCU. It's, again, this show is going to be about past Black Panther. So it's going to be taking place sometime far before Danny Rand was probably even born. So it's going to be a female Iron Fist, and she's actually going to be an original character. So this is going to be, I think, a really great idea because you get to have kind of that world building aspect where, you know, you intro kind of reintroduced Iron Fist to the MCU, but without Danny Rand again, without that baggage, but you just introduced the idea of Iron Fist and the idea of Kun Lun in the MCU and that kind of lays the groundwork for when we do bring back Danny Rand or if we do 
get a new, different Iron Fist in the MCU somewhere down the line. So actually, um, seeing here that uh, this report is coming from Scooper, can we get some toast? Uh, which is fairly accurate sometimes. Uh, it's being said that this Iron Fist will be a woman named Janora, which is going to be an original character for the show. And we're going to see basically Black Panther teaming up with Iron Fist, which I think is a really cool concept. Black Panther and Iron Fist, I think, are really interesting characters to put together. So that's that's certainly something that I'm really quite excited to see. But the big question here is when we do get Danny Rand, or I guess if we get Danny Rand back in the MCU, considering that that Netflix show is canon, logically, you would think Finn Jones would be playing Iron Fist. He would be playing Danny Rand. Now, they could just recast and just say that, well, they could just not address it. You know, they could do uh, what, what they're probably going to end up doing with Kang the Conqueror. Well, we actually know, speaking of Netflix Marvel shows, uh, with Vanessa in Daredevil Born Again, we are getting a new actress playing Vanessa in that show. But of course, the Daredevil Netflix series is still canon. So it's the same character, same version of the character, just played by different actors. So we could get Finn Jones back or they could recast. And I mean, I didn't hate Finn Jones. He, he was an all right Iron Fist. I don't think the actor was the bad part about that show. It was really just the, the writing. The writing was oh, terrible. Um, but it, it does, it did almost kind of leave a sour taste in your mouth. No, not necessarily because of Finn Jones' performance, but just his tie to that show and to that poor iteration of the character. So they might want to recast just for that fact. If he comes back, I wouldn't be mad at it. And he's certainly shown interest that he wants a redemption. He wants a second chance in the MCU. So I wouldn't be mad at it, but I feel like it's not very likely that he will come back. But here's another way they could go about doing it. Maybe instead of bringing back Danny Rand and having to deal with the whole Finn Jones thing, they just completely ignore that. Maybe they even pull a, a situation where it's like, oh, Danny Rand died off screen. And then you bring in a new iteration of the Iron Fist. Because, I mean, they're already establishing that in this Black Panther series that there's been multiple Iron Fists. So how about they introduce the new Iron Fist, Lin Lee or Lin Lai? I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. But this is a newer iteration of Iron Fist from the comics. I believe he is an Asian superhero, and we know Marvel Studios, they're really going hard on diversity nowadays, so this, I think, would uh, make sense from their perspective to do Iron Fist like this. Uh, so, as much as I love Danny Rand in the role and I love a blonde Iron Fist, it's just not that likely, and I th I could totally see this being the approach that is done here. Um, I would also prefer the fully covered head without the hair sticking out, uh, but they could take inspiration from both iterations of the character, do the same costume design from Danny Rand, maybe, um, especially considering we never really got that in the Netflix series. We got a version of it, uh, but that that is one thing that I would really, really want to see in the MCU from Iron Fist is just a really good looking comics accurate design for Iron Fist. Again, whoever it may be as the master of uh, martial arts and, you know, the, the power of Kun Lun and the Iron Fist. So we could get an Iron Fist maybe series or movie or special presentation on Disney Plus because Iron Fist is a character that could totally work in his own project, just not the way they did it on Netflix. I would love to see more of a... Kun Lun focused approach here like the, that was one of the worst parts about the Marvel Netflix show of Iron Fist is they took Iron Fist and just turned him into yes Iron Fist is a street level hero but all he was doing in that show was he was in New York City fighting crime bosses and stuff I want to see Iron Fist in Kun Lun. I want to see the 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 culture, the lore of Kun Lun. I want to f dive deeper into that because I mean, the whole thing here is that he got his powers from a freaking dragon. Like I want to see that dragon, people. I I know most people would love to see that. Like who doesn't want to see a dragon? 
Um, and actually, speaking of that, that could tie into a, another project, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but we could also get maybe a Heroes for Hire project. Again, you bring back Mike Coulter as Luke Cage, and you give us Iron Fist. Also, is is that uh, Danny Rand? Is that Finn Jones? Who knows? Uh, but back to the whole dragon thing, you also have a Shang-Chi uh, tie-in here as well. There's been a lot of people saying, actually, I think... Before the first Shang-Chi movie came out, there were slight rumors that we were going to see Iron Fist appear in that movie. Obviously, that didn't end up happening, but I would love for maybe a sequel to introduce Iron Fist. Like, uh, Ta uh, Talo, it, I think it is what uh, Shang-Chi's place was called. Um, it would be cool if Talo and Kun Lun were like neighboring areas or if they were somehow connected in a way. Uh, if the dragon again you have the dragon connection as well um i just think there's a lot of possibility and synergy there also to see like maybe like a shang chi versus iron fist type fight i think would be awesome there's just there's a lot of possibility for iron fist in the mcu and i would hate for iron fist to be a character another character that is just wasted because of a bad interpretation on netflix like i don't want him to be the next green lantern green lantern used to be one of the biggest most popular superheroes ever in the dc comics universe then you get one bad movie starring ryan reynolds we haven't seen green lantern in years but hopefully iron fist will be able to make a comeback again is that going to be with finn jones playing the character as danny rand is it going to be danny rand at all is it going to be lin lai lin lee however you pronounce it um is he going to get his own project are we getting mike coulter back as luke cage are we getting some heroes fryer i don't know but we do know that marvel is definitely taking an approach focusing more on the street level grounded side of things in the mcu with kingpin kind of being built up as a big bad there which is super duper exciting and something i cannot wait to see and i would love 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 to see iron fist be a part of that but anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about this? Do you want to see Iron Fist in the MCU? And what type of approach would you like to see them take with this character? So thanks for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything that goes on in the Marvel life.